All right, so today I'm gonna de-rust this old rusty chisel. It looks like it's a Stanley Alloy 74-1 made in USA. I'll see more about that once I get the rust off. I'm gonna be using my electrolysis tank to de-rust this and an old car battery. So let me just break this up real fast, put some wiring, and get it into the tank. All right, so now we gotta get it ready. So what we're gonna do is take a piece of PVC, set this wire up to loop around it, pretty much support it. I'm gonna take this, these two notches are to hold it in place. We want it in the center, not hitting anything, not touching anything perfectly in the center. We're going to take our negative, connect it there, our positive, connect it here. All right, so I was interrupted by a phone call, but like I said, we're going to put our negative here so this way it's attached. Now that we made sure we're not touching anything, that we're in a good spot. We don't want to hit anything. We're going to use our battery charger. We're going to plug it in. Plug it in. All right. So now we're at the lowest. I haven't set the two. Can't see yet. Actually, you probably could. We're starting to get a little bubbling. Off of the chisel. Let's move the amps up. It just came down. But we're seeing a lot more bubbling here. Off of the chisel. So we gotta let this run for a bit. I'm gonna bounce it up all the way to 50. I'm gonna leave it at 10 when I go. Plug it in. So now, we're at the lowest, I haven't set the two. Can't see yet, actually you probably could, we're starting to get a little bubbling off of the chisel. Let's move the amps up. It just came down, but we're seeing a lot more bubbling here. Off of the chisel. So we gotta let this run for a bit. I'm gonna bounce it up all the way to 50. I'm gonna leave it at 10 when I go. I just took a photo real fast, now I'm back, but you can definitely see the bubbling taking place. So we'll be back. It's 4.38, got a lot of bubbling action, but surprise there's not a lot of rust floating around. I'll well, check on this later. So we got 921, and this is the soup we're looking at. We got bubbling happening, coming up. Now you got some rust on top. This is a little bit of a slow go, but 
we'll let this go overnight and may not even be a whole lot of rust on it. Let's like bump it to 50 real fast. I just don't want to leave it at 50 for a long amount of time. And you can see all the bubbling coming off front end. Back end. So, I'm going to leave it overnight and then check on it in the morning. If I was home I'd run it more at 50 but I had to go out. So now for overnight 10 dropped almost zero. Two brought That's how I'm going to leave it. Check on this in the morning. It's almost 11 o'clock the following morning. You can see the rusty soup. I now have from this. And if I bounce it to 50, it was at 10 the whole time. But it's pointless to keep going. Let's pull it and clean it. It's unplugged. Let's get this right into a sink and clean it up. This helps get most of the junk off. You can see it's all over my hands. And we'll see if we have to put it in for a little longer or how it is. Look, I actually. There's metal showing in there. Second set of hands comes in handy. Oh, I'm just gonna hit it up with this brush real fast here. So turn out the pliers, I'm just gonna take it out, dry it up real fast. So we gotta prevent flash rusting. Once I dry it, give it back. You can actually see the brand, the name, the model. Most that rust is off. Spray it up with some oil now. To prevent any more. Okay, so here we are the following morning. We got a nice big bowl of soup. This, disconnect their neutral, out of the way, our positive, out of the way, let's bring this inside and clean it up in the sink.
is cleaned up really nice. That's just cleaning it with water too. Most of the black stuff washed right off in the sink. Now I'm gonna polish it up. I'm gonna use metal polish. I find this stuff works pretty good. Towel down underneath. That's stopping things from future rust. I'm not going to really be able to see until I get home what this has done. But I just rub it really good into the metal. It'll change colors. Get into all the little spots because this stops it from rusting I find and just wiping this off alone I'm sure was going to be a big improvement so I'm going to give this a few minutes while I finish getting ready for work and then we'll be right back As you can see, it's dried up. I'm putting a little light on. So now that it's all dry, let's take a dry rag and just wipe this all off. And you can see it's changed color quite a bit from the polish. A little pitted areas, but look at it now from when I first started on it. And if you got a toothbrush also works on getting in to get this stuff off. We had to go back in the bath, yes. The first time I checked, it wasn't good. I forgot to record it going back in, but... This... is where I'm at. I, mean, what I'm gonna do I get a little brush and it comes I'm out of... I'm gonna put this back on. All the little grooves there. This Stanley Howard <laughs> 74. When I come home again. Dash one. So at that point, I'm gonna use a, like a brush to get in there. Get it out of all the little grooves. Yeah. I'm gonna clean this it up stuff more. Really does and work a lot of crap out of the metal. You can see how it's changing colors as I'm rubbing it. So I can't wait to see this later on. So I gotta get going now. So this way I'm not late for work.
I just got home from work. Let this dry. So now what this is going to do, we cleaned it up, I tried to brush it up quite a bit. After doing that, I make it as brush. much as possible. And you help so smear it in. Because of all the pitting and everything, smear it in. 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 Make it pretty shiny. You also see over here, you got Fill in maybe a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it look nice and shiny. So a potato, got a pencil. Well, mostly it's more just a finished appearance. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see the finish how it's coming out. And it's coming out and it makes everything around it pretty shiny. So I mean, this is just like a finish. I don't know like how great it's gonna be, how long it'll hold up. And all I'm looking for is something to protect it from rusting. I mean, this looks pretty good. Stanley Alloy 74. It's got a dash, but nothing in it. Then a dash one dash made in USA. It's a big difference from what it looked like before I de-rusted it. It's a very nice looking chisel. And it's been beat on and used. This, they don't make stuff like this anymore. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'm out.